was hand selected by the wing commander to fly the F, the RF4 Phantom from their bases in Birmingham, Alabama, to the Air Force Base in the United Arab Emirates, refueling Air Force 16,000. hours of Phantom flight time when the Warburg was retired in the early 1990s. In 2004, Gordo missed flying low and fast. A close friend who was also an airshow performer told him about a beautiful red T-6, big red, for sale in California. After learning the plane's history was rooted deep in Alabama, and he had been flown by the Jimmy, uh, flown by rather Jimmy Doolittle, Gordo made Alabama home once again for Big Red that you're seeing here today. Watch now as Gordo bends the big red from your right. Again, this aircraft, a World War II trainer. Not a high-performance aerobatic aircraft as he kicks into a four-point roll. Roots go back really over 70 years ago. Built by North American Aviation again as an advanced single engine trainer, this would have been the first aircraft that an Air Corps or Navy cadet would have flown that would have had the characteristics of a fighter aircraft that they would fly into combat. It would be the first plane they had with intractable landing gear. And the high performance, similar to a... A big barrel roll in the skies over Tuscaloosa. It was interesting to note that during World War II, Army Air Corps cadets were told never, never fly aerobatic maneuvers below 3,000 feet. And Gordo's not even going to get above 3,000 feet today as he pulls back on the stick. Comes all the way around in a big old barrel roll. Gordo has now over 17,000 flying hours in numerous different types of aircraft. Including the MD-11s for FedEx. And he is an FAA designated pilot examiner. Gordo flies air shows all across the country and Central America. Gordo is a true aviation enthusiast, which is matched by his passion for the University of Alabama, where his wife and daughter graduated, and his younger daughter is currently going to school. considers the T-6 Texan to be a national treasure. Nice look at the big red T-6 of Gordo Sanders. Again, as he will taxi by your way. Warbirds will be filling up the sky as we get the P-51s. We actually have three, three of them, count them, one, two, three. P-51's with us this weekend. And 
Stan Music will also be performing a solo routine, or solo routine in the P-51. Kirk Wicker flying the PT-17 Stearman. Mike Witkus is with us this weekend in the Lucas Oil Pitts Aerobatics Aircraft. The Firebirds Extreme Aerobatic Team. Lifesaver MedFlight helicopter demonstration for us today. Chris Avery flying the FG-1D Corsair. We'll see more of the Army Golden Knights. Matt Yonkin with us this weekend flying the Beach 18. An aircraft again. Okay, we'll see your applause and give them a big wave. And it's time for the smoke dance. Here it comes. Jack Knudsen takes the exit 300 across the top.